Do you think trade is the sort of key outstanding macro factor for the U.S. Uh, equity market at the moment? Or, or does that global growth outlook, that Eurozone growth outlook that, that softened today uh, also impact U.S. equities? Oh, I think it's, it's in terms of today's move, it's a combination of both. Look, the market has had a very big move and so upwards. And so any type of news like this is going to unnerve people short term. And that's why we're getting pullback. I'm, frankly, I'm surprised it's, it's not even more. How much are they related, Andrew, when we see headlines like German growth cut yeah. and UK growth cut and Eurozone growth cut? How much of that is because of the trade war, which now appears well, to be going on? Look, the, the, uh, yeah, it's a great question. Look, the, if you look at the quarterly GDP numbers for this year, they're barely above zero. So we're, we're perilously close to a negative GDP, which is a recession. So any type of shocks, whether it's, oh, ex, you know, uh, trade war extending or weak Europe, that's, that's, that gets people anxious because of a, a risk of uh, economic slowdown this year. Now, I don't, I don't think we're going to have that uh, because uh, recessions don't lead to presidents getting reelected, uh, but that's, that's, that is the risk. But it's also because the market's up a lot, so bad news impacts the market more. What, what about the micro, Andrew? Do you think company earnings has been uh, good enough to justify the bounce back no. we've seen since uh, Christmas? This is the bigger story. I think the China news is the headline grabbing. But what worries me much more is that, yes, companies met lower guidance, but analysts went out and have cut their numbers for 2019 since then. And if you look at the first quarter year over year, it's now negative for earnings growth. And we're barely above zero for the second and third quarter. So I think there's a very good chance we're going to see an earnings recession this year. And if that happens, I mean, the more the market goes up, the more that becomes an issue. So uh, uh, that is the bigger story in my mind, which is earnings. We're, we're, the, the multiple in the market has just gone from 14 to 16 times forward earnings. And estimates are and, and we're, we're, we're going to have 5 percent earnings growth this year. Those are that's a tough combination for the markets. Either revisions need to move back up or we need a, a little bit of a retracement in the market here. So are there pockets of the market, sectors perhaps, where things don't look as dire and you don't expect an earnings recession where you should be right now? Yeah. So look, I think you have to think about it in terms of what led the downturn. Usually the first things that would fall off are the first things that recover. From a geographic standpoint, I think emerging markets, you know, China, which is well into a downturn, well, that, that was the first to weaken. I think some of the early cyclical stocks here, the housing stocks, you look at how they're doing today, they're not doing nearly as poorly as the rest of the market because they're already down a lot. So I would be very focused on companies that have already priced in uh, and earnings and economic uh, slowdown.